<laughs> we actually filmed with Richard Branson as well, which was so Crikey. weird. And I, I, he was sitting behind, beside me with a, a big newspaper, and she said, have you ever flown before? Can I call you Dick? And it was Dorian, <laughs> her <laughs> most charming. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. But you're not her being most Dorian either. at the moment, no, are not. you? I'm being Miss Hannigan. And oh, how is that? Because you, you've been on tour, what, for a full year now? No, I haven't. You see, it's really weird because Craig Revel Horwood started it okay. back in June and I was doing Birds of a Feather. Is it? Oh, yes, there I am, look, <laughs> uh, in a ginger wig. And um, then when I was doing Birds and he went to do Strictly at the weekend, I went up and did Annie at the weekend. So I was going from Dorian Green to Miss Hannigan, which wow. was slightly yeah, weird. Different. I've never done anything like that before. Um, except when I did it originally, 17 years ago, I job shared with Paul O'Grady. Oh, okay. <laughs> Which is just so strange. And it's a great part, though, Miss Hannigan. It's a isn't wonderful it? part, and it's a wonderful musical. It's a classic American yeah. musical, and little girls all want and to be. And a lot of Annie. great songs, because yeah. usually Brilliant when I go songs. to musicals, I think, oh Some God, they're going to sing any songs. Yeah. And, and the thing loads. about this production is they've sort of reinvented it. They make much more current. They've made it much more nitty gritty. It's set in 1933 in the Depression. Mm. There's some fantastic choreography in it, mm. and uh, I'm doing it for Easy Street which is easy yeah, street, yeah. which is the most exciting thing. Because I'm not a singer or a dancer, really, but I can do it a bit. So she's boring. obviously quite, um, she's quite evil, Miss Hannigan, in she many is, ways. But... And Dorian's quite edgy as well. Have well, you ever like, played a with nice both person? Of them, they're sort of similar in that I've always tried to give Dorian a bit of heart. Yes. Try yeah. To you yeah. understand why she is like she is. Yes, yeah. yeah. I don't really but understand why do you, her. But why do you get, do, well. do you like playing sort of those kind of roles rather than sort of Jane, like you're the not nice... going to cast me as the ingenue, Why not? Oh, come on, look at me, look at me. You are never going to do that. I'm always going to, you know, I'm a character actress. Look at my looks. I'm never going to be Miss Sweet and Innocent. So I'm always... <laughs> it's true, though. How do, you, how do you manage with this? You say you're not a singer and a dancer. I mean, doing any musical is so gruelling. Well, I do. You're I mean... so fit. Thank you. And you're... <laughs> you're, you're 70. Yeah, yes, you have to bring that up later. Yeah, but I've the Botox that you're natural. I've ne how do you know? <laughs> <laughs> No, honestly, this is this is it. I mean, who would look like this with Botox? Um, <laughs> but the thing is, I've never been depressed at a birthday until 70. And it wasn't... Oh, no. Well, it wasn't depressed. It was suddenly, oh, my goodness, how quickly the years are going. Mm. How did I ever get to be here? Mm. But then, on the other hand, I'm as fit as I've ever been. I can touch my toes, put my hands on the floor, yoga. Um, I do yoga about four times a week. And I just think, however I'm going to go gracefully into that good night. I'm going to yeah. go disgracefully. And, <laughs> so. and you're, you're so incredibly busy. You're incredibly busy and you've got some great news about Birds of a Feather. Well, hopefully. I mean, we're waiting to hear what we're going to do. I mean, we're not sure at the moment, but ITV have loved it and yeah. uh, we're all waiting to hear if we're doing another series or a special or just... Race. I mean, I want to go abroad. Well, you're, aren't you doing... <laughs> well, I, I tell you, somebody tweet... Linda Robson is queen of the tweets. She is. Yeah. Yeah. Keep having to turn around and say, there we are. <laughs> uh, Linda Robson is queen of the tweets and somebody tweeted her, why don't we do Birds Meets Benidorm? Yeah. So, oh. can you actually imagine Birds of a good. Feather that go would be great. to that would Benidorm? Be I mean, it would just... Stay. Honestly, it would oh. just be a match made in heaven. I think it would be very, very funny. I think there could be some cross-pollination. <laughs> I think there could, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Have you never fancied being a loose woman at all? Because obviously we've got our lovely Linda here. I know there's never really been time to be You're too busy. It's been, you know, and I know a lot of people say often, oh my goodness, work dries up for people as they get older. And I have to say, touch wooden whistle if I'd got any, yeah. um, <laughs> very superstitious, that it's sort of been the opposite, really. That good. Well, well that's looking that you do at your age, you've got very yeah. good genes. Yeah. Very good genes. Yeah. And a good aura. And every time I've got, you've always been fun and like Aww. bubbly. Well, would you for more Loose Women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. I was married once and... Hang uh, on a minute. You were married. Well, my ex-wife, yes. Was well, it funny? I don't well, know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it was many, many no, but years ago. He's married to a woman. Yeah, but why is yes, it funny? Yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> why is that funny? Because you're gay. How very dare you? Well, I wasn't then, darling. <laughs> I am. Uh, I don't mind about something to do with ladies. <laughs> <laughs>